Tight line, trout line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread and mustard greens, that's how we live and it sure feels fine. Well, you can't change us, that's the way we know. Cajun people live like they did long ago. So join the fun, live off the land, cause there ain't nothing better than a Louisiana man. Line, trap line, sitting on a pipeline, waiting for the sun to shine. Snap beans, red beans, cornbread, mustard greens, that's how we live, and it sure feels fine. Hey everybody, welcome to Cajun Living and Cooking. My name is Rodney Dupree, and we got a holiday special for y'all. It's Wednesday, the day before Thanksgiving. We're over at Junior's Meat Market. He's smoking over 60 hams, frying over 30 turkeys. We're cooking a big old batch of dirty rice, and we got a secret dessert for y'all. It's really, really neat. Happy holidays, and Cajun Living and Cooking's fixing to start right about now. All right, y'all. This is some of the hams. This is just a sampling right now. Hey, this is Crystal. She works over at Junior's Meat Market. Hi, it's nice to meet you. What time y'all got started this morning? Uh, I think around 5 o'clock this morning. Wow, wow. And we got 60 hams going. Yes. And you already got moved some yesterday. Yes, sir. We sold about five already. Gotcha. Gotcha. Now the smokehouse is still full, and I see he's decorated a few here, and he's fixing to slice some up. Yes. Uh, how's the turkeys going? We had not got over there yet. Oh, we had 30 turkeys. They're going real good. We done moved out a couple this morning already. Good. Good. Now, uh, what's what's the secret on these hams? I see they look glazed up. Is there is there a rub or a, or uh, a no sauce? Sir. There's the applewood smoked ham. They have no bone, no gristle, just no waste. And he put some pineapples and cherries. We just smoke them. So they've been smoking all night. Yes, sir. And it smoked all night till now. We already getting close to uh, ten o'clock, I believe. All right, y'all. I didn't come across something really nice here. These is uh these are the personal hams here. These are going to Junior's house and Junior's family. I got them sliced up, got the cherries, got the pineapple, got a little juice on top of them. Now, uh, when you buy your ham from Junior, you take it home and slice it however you want. You know, you, and uh, what he was telling me, if you only wanted six or seven slices, you just slice a little bit off what you need, and, and then later on, you know, you want Thanksgiving leftovers, you can slice it the way you like. Now, uh, what these is, is, he's got them cut all the way through. Now, the ideal thing for Thanksgiving is when you get it home to slice it, you go ahead and cut it up how you want it, and just take a little bit off and you leave the rest whole and it'll it'll save a little longer but uh this is beautiful here we got to taste some of this earlier y'all this ham that he buys is the best ham i've ever ate i've been eating ham 47 years best ham i ever ate at junior smokehouse you're gonna need to get you one all right y'all we're working on our first deal hey neil hey happy thanksgiving happy thanksgiving to y'all too hey y'all we're cooking a rice dressing and we're going to tell y'all the way we're doing it. There's a million ways to cook a rice dressing. We've got six pounds of beef. We've got six pounds of pork. Now what we do, we're going to mix that all together and season it up. And brown that first. Now we got, uh, what we got, about a gallon of onions, six bell peppers, and a little bit of garlic. Yeah, that's correct. we got to use Blanchard seasoning on there because that's about the best seasoning you can get. Very good stuff. We'll put a little black pepper. Uh, but what we're going to do, we're going to get that in the pot. And we'll brown that down, see if we render any grease off of it, you know. So that's going to be the most important part here, getting the meat browned down. Then we'll add our onions to it. we got a whole bunch of rice. We even got two kinds of rice. So we're going to get to show you all long grain and short grain. So uh, what you say, Neil? We're going to uh, get this seasoned up and get it in the pot. Yes, sir. Dirty rice on the way. All right, y'all. we got a little secret ingredient we're putting in there, too. We didn't say nothing about it. Uh, it's a liquid uh, Lipton onion soup mix. I don't know that it's Lipton, but it's an onion soup mix and uh, really makes your meat really, really, get, it uh, brings out a little flair to it, what right. it does. It's that secret ingredient in there that makes you go, hmm, <laughs> that Thanksgiving special. So we're going to put two packets of that in there. So we're fixing to light up the pot and get it all in there. All right, Neil, where are we at? Uh, we just sauteed um, brown the um, pork and the beef. Just put the onions, bell peppers, and garlic in here. So... I can smell all the good flavors yeah, coming out of this good. thing. Sauteing it, so and then we'll blend it all together here after I get this brown. So you'll good. brown that down. And, and then, then I'll add, add my meat back. back to it and we'll cook that down a little bit. Then we'll be ready for rice. How about that ham? 
Awesome. Junior cut the ham a while ago, and we got to taste a piece of that ham. Y'all, when you when you get to watch this, you're going to come order your ham from Junior. It was an Applewood smoked ham. Correct. He smokes us in his smoker with the hickory. Y'all, amazing flavor. Just It's just amazing. Then he'll, he'll decorate it for you and put the pineapples and the cherries on it. Y'all going to get to see that. I can't wait to eat some more of that. That is some pretty good ham. It's going to be hard to compete with the uh, the dirty rice with that ham. That's right. But he's still got a fried turkey. He's one up on us no matter what. But we got a secret dessert coming up. So we can catch up with him eventually. All right, y'all. We're going to let Neil get back to work, get all this smothered down. We're going to get the meat back in the pot. We're going to check on the turkeys now. They got turkey frying in there. All right, y'all. got Junior here. We got some beautiful looking turkeys in here. And he's they're coming out in about nine minutes. Uh... What he did, he shot them up last night. Got them all marinated, and then he puts a rub on them. Rubs them down, and they've been marinating all night. And how long they cook? About, oh, averaging three minutes per pound. Okay. So, we got these coming about eight minutes now, and it's about three minutes a pound, but I tell you what, really good smelling. When they're coming out, they almost want to fall apart. They're looking so tender. That's peanut oil we got them in? That's lard. Lard. Lard, gotcha, yeah. Which is way better for you than the peanut oil. All right, I'm gonna let you get back to work, Junior. All right, y'all. Is this not beautiful or what? I just wanna grab one of them turkey legs and go to gnawing on it right now. This is 12 to 14 pound turkeys, and like we were saying, they fried three minutes a pound. So you gotta do the math on that. But uh, he already been shot up, already been injected, already been seasoned up, needing to be eaten right now. But this, what he does is during Thanksgiving and Christmas, you can get the turkeys and the hams. But during Easter, you can get the hams. But let me tell you what, juiciest turkeys you ever want to eat, best ham you ever want to eat. He's still got more frying. We got the rice dressing going together back there, and we got a secret dessert. So y'all hang on. Junior's Meat Market has everything you need when you're going to the camp. Groceries, fresh produce, beer, hoghead cheese, hot or mild, hot cracklings, and ice. Homemade smoked sausage, mild or hot, daily and weekly meat specials. 21 day aged steaks. We can also process your deer. Come on down to Junior's Meat Market and check us out. Most homeowners are unaware of the existing damage to their homes as a result of hail, wind, and storms. Your home is your biggest investment. You can trust our Hague Certified Inspector to assess your damages and our licensed Louisiana Adjuster to maximize your claim. VJ's Construction ensures your claim is settled fairly. Let our team of professionals work for you. Call today to schedule your free, no obligation damage assessment. Gavis Hardware and Outdoor Cooking is two unique stores in one. The hardware department has everything you need to fix stuff right. The outdoor cooking section cannot be beaten. We have all the latest and greatest gadgets on the market. But also, we keep a large stock of the tried and tested cookware we've all come to love over the years. Coffee and biscuits every morning during the week, cooking demos on Saturdays, and customer service that will help you get the job done. All right, y'all, we got it mixed up. You got dirty rice. Look good, Neil. Very good. Now, uh, show y'all a little difference in what we've done here. These two are identical. We cooked these with long grain rice. And Neil, being over from the west side of Louisiana, uses a medium grain rice. Now, you can see the difference in it. It's a little bit of difference in it. And uh, there's a little bit difference in the texture. We was talking about the medium grain compared to the long grain. But, yeah, I just uh, grew up on the medium, so... 
I prefer it. And that's what it is. Wherever you grew up and whatever you had, that's what you like, you know. And we grew up with long grain rice. I, I guess that's more jambalaya rice, but they still cook the jambalaya with the medium grain. I do for sure. Gotcha, gotcha. Well, we got these seasoned up. Y'all, we're going to put a little in, little in here and we're going to get some taste testing. I done tested it, y'all. It's good. I'm going to tell you it's good. So uh, we're fixing to go check on some other stuff. We got turkey still coming out. We got hams getting decorated. And we still got that secret dessert. So y'all hang on. All right, y'all got a couple customers. They're going to test the rice dressing. But let's get their names and where they're from first. Rose Little, Gonzalez, Louisiana. And Jeff Little, Gonzalez. All right, so y'all got to try the rice dressing. Uh, we've been working on this all morning. Slaving over this rice dressing. Really been working on it. So I'm going to have to get y'all's official opinion. It's what? It's good? It's delicious. All right, and it's not the traditional, you know. That's just ground meat, ground beef, and ground pork. You know, a lot of people put the giblets and all that yeah, in there's it. there's no but giblets in there? No, no. But it's got that flavor, it's got though. that flavor, yeah. Yeah, beef stock. That was the key. Oh, okay. A little bit of beef stock in there. That's delicious. Can we buy some here? <laughs> <laughs> Maybe next year we'll be selling that, too. That'll be good. Looks like we got some happy patrons, y'all. Hang on, we still got a dessert coming. All right, y'all got a couple of workers trying some of the rice dressing. Let's, they said they busy in here, man. They're cutting steaks, wrapping turkeys, got hams going. What y'all think? Give me another bite, I believe. <laughs> really good. 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 And that's without the giblets and the hearts and all that. That's just uh, the beef and the pork that y'all sell. Real good, Rodney. Y'all did a real good job on that. All right, you heard we it right here. Appreciate y'all being here today, also. All right. Really good. Thank, Thank y'all. All right, y'all. This is a lady that takes all your money when you come in here to juniors. So you got uh, you got to go through her. I never get to get on the register or nothing, no, but uh, she's testing the rice dressing too. Very good. It's good. Yes, sir. I like it. Is it? You would uh, you would eat it. Yes, sir. I just <laughs> did. <laughs> all right, y'all. We got the rice dressing tasting done. We're going to the secret dessert next. All right, y'all, finally got to that dessert. That's my wife, Leslie, and you never get to see her on TV because she's always behind the camera. But this today, she's making a punch bowl cake, so uh, tell us how we do it. Well, you're going to need some ingredients, so you're gonna get you a uh, angel food cake from the store already made, and you're gonna cut it up into one inch cubes. So you're gonna dice it. Okay, and then after, you need to make your pudding. So you're gonna get a jello pudding. I've used a vanilla. You can use chocolate or banana, whatever kind of jello you like, and make it according to the box. You're gonna need some cool whip, some crushed pineapples, and whatever you wanna decorate with. We got pineapple uh, rings. Since it's Thanksgiving, I went with pineapple rings and cherries to make it pretty like a ham box. All right. So I'm gonna go ahead and make, and it's a layer cake. So we're gonna start making our layer. So you cut them up you first. Cut, I, I do th make one slice, cut it in threes, and then when you cut it in half again, you have little one-inch cubes. Should we measure that? Because that no. looks like one-inch cubes. <laughs> so we're just going to make a layer. You start with the cake. This is angel, angel food angel cake. cake. And it's very easy because you don't have to make all this yourself. So it comes together pretty quickly. So after you get your angel food cake in, you're gonna do half of your pudding. That looks like some good pudding right there. That's vanilla? We use your vanilla. Can I lick the spoon? After I'm finished. And now that you got the vanilla on it. And you're gonna go with your crushed pineapples. You need to drain them because you don't want all the juice, okay? So you're gonna put the pineapples on them. That looks good. So I guess people that eat coconut, they actually can put some coconut too. Yeah, I, I don't eat coconut, so we don't use coconut on our desserts. You can really use peaches, whatever fruit you like. What about nuts? Could you put nuts? Yeah, you could put pecan. Layer it with some pecan filling. All right, cherries? And then I'm gonna put a little bit of cherries. And the name of this again is the, is the punch bowl cake. Okay. Because it's I, in a punch bowl. My Aunt Ann gave me this recipe. All right, thanks, Aunt Ann. And then you can decorate the sides so they can see your decorations whenever you're doing because uh -huh. we have a clear bowl. Gotcha. So we're going to put our pineapples. Right. And then we'll have some whole cherries put in the center. Oh, you're getting fancy now. 
And then you just keep layering on top. You put your next layer on top. Okay. All right. River Rats Bar and Grill, an oasis on the Amy River, located in French Settlement off Highway 16. Hashtag best place to eat and party. With amazingly delicious original and traditional food. Indoor and outdoor seating with a friendly and entertaining staff. Open seven days a week with happy hour Monday through Friday and game day specials. So come by car, bike, or boat. You won't forget the fun times you've had at River Rats Bar and Grill. Ascension Trolling Motor is owned and operated by Carl Singletary, offering the only Minn Kota warranty service center in Ascension Parish. He not only works on all makes and model motors, but offers pickup and delivery. If you can't take it out of the water, he'll come to you. On-site boat lift, boat trailer repair, small fiberglass work, and gel coats. He sells refurbished motors, parts, and accessories. He's also a certified welder and mechanic. Here at Ascension Trolling Motors, our mission is to keep you fishing. Hole in the Wall Seafood is your one-stop shop for all your seafood, seasoning, sauces, and propane needs. They have local Amy River catfish, $3.99 a pound all year long. Fresh shrimp, Dungeness crab, local frog leg, soft shell crabs, alligator, scallops, live and ball crabs, and cracklings. And don't forget, crawfish season is just around the corner. Always local, never imported, at Hole in the Wall Seafood. All right, y'all, we got everything in here. That's pretty neat. You can see through it. Yeah, you can see all your layers and see your decoration. That's why I like to put the pineapple and stuff on the side. But you can put peaches down there, whatever you want to eat that day. Neat. So I'm going to show you how to decorate the top real pretty. Okay, let's see. And you can do anything with this. You can do anything. Today, since it's Thanksgiving, we're going to do a little turkey. But for Christmas, you can make a Christmas tree if you like with some different fruits. So I took a pear and cut it in half. And then you take some toothpicks, two toothpicks, and cut the little pieces off because you need two little eyeballs and you need two little legs. So you need two in the bottom and two at the top. And my eyeballs are going to be some blueberries. I'm just going to pop my little blueberries. Oh, blue eyes. Okay, so now he's got eyes and he's got feet. So that's my beginning of my turkey. And I'm just going to plop him down in the center. All right. Turkey body. body. Don't show Junior that he'll fry. No, we don't want this fried. So now we're going to make his little feathers. I have some pineapples. You can start with just laying it around his head. And you want different colored fruits to make it pretty, make it stand out. So you can use just about any kind just of fruit. Just about any fruit you like. Took some grapes and I cut them in half. So he's going to be very colorful. Sliced them. You sliced them in half. Sliced them in half. That's a nice looking turkey. And I cut up some strawberries. That's a big put, tom turkey for all you turkey hunters out there. Put those around. And we got some blueberries we can just fill in. Ah. Now, 
Now, when you go to eating this, you're going to mess the turkey up as you're scooping stuff up. Oh, well, yeah, but it's cute to look at to begin with. The kids really love stuff like this. Take a picture of it before the kids get a hold of it, because they're going to tear this turkey up. And there you have it. Well, that's really nice. And it is a little turkey. Look at that. That's pretty fancy. Now, we're fixing to get a spoon out, and we're going to taste it. She actually made one earlier. We're fixing to show y'all that. She made one last night, and we're going to show y'all that one compared to this one. I used tangerines in that one, so it's a little bit different. Okay. All right, y'all. This is the other one. It's the one she done last night. A little bit different, but still unique. You get the point, though, that you can decorate it any way you like. You can fill the whole top with fruit if you want to. But it's good, healthy stuff for you. So, uh, that was tangerines in this one. This one's got the grapes and the... Just a little bit different color, a little flair to it. That's really, that really neat. You got a little nose on it. Well, that's cool. All right, y'all, now for the, the deadening part to the cook. We fixing to get a spoon and go to trying it. All right, y'all, we got Junior out of the frying, out of the hams, away from everybody, and he's coming to taste the cake. Mm, it's good. It is awesome. <laughs> it I hear is you. Delicious. You can taste the pudding and the cake and the, and the fruit. It's all in there. Anything with whipped cream to me is good. This is, this is delicious. Wow. Thank you, Leslie, for doing this. All right. Well, you heard it right here. We're fixing to get some more people to try it. We're fixing to taste up some cake. All right, y'all. We got the workers now trying some of the punch bowl cake. Really, really good cake, y'all. You can taste all those flavors in there. Let's. We're going to get an opinion here with the... Uh, they work it, and so they're happy Super to good. get some. It's good? Super good. Very good. You taste the, the vanilla and the... Oh, yeah, I like it. That's like Pineapple to it. Got a little pineapple good. kick. All right, y'all heard it right here, Leslie. Good job, Leslie. Way to cook up some good food. All right, y'all, I got another customer tasting the rice dressing, but let's get her name and where she's from. Anna Altman, French Settlement, Louisiana. All right, try it out. Everybody's been digging the rice dressing. Everybody's been loving the cake. Uh, what she good. said. I like to hear that. Look, you know it's good when she try it again. You like it? Very good. All right. Well, thanks for stopping and trying it. You're welcome. Y'all have a happy holiday. Thank you. All right, y'all. I got another customer doing a taste test. Let's get her name and where she's from. Whitney Fold, Santa Mall. Mm, Eli Daniel Fold. Eli. Uh, All right. Well, you try, you're going to have to try some of this cake. Yeah, it looks delicious. <laughs> what I want to say while you're trying the cake, uh, Junior has all kind of neat stuff, not just the holiday hams and turkeys and all, but you can come get fresh produce. He's got sweet potatoes. He's got onions. He's got red beans. got white beans, y'all. And uh, what'd you come to get today? I came to get nine steaks for my family because he has the steaks, best steaks around. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. We had the steak contest here. Oh, really? Yeah, and I think everybody bought their steak from here. Yeah. Oh, it was amazing. And, and so is the pork, y'all. And he does all kind of neat stuff. He's got all kind of stuff smoked. The steaks are the best. During the holidays, you come get them turkeys and them hams. Even at Easter, he does the hams, too. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah, We'll yeah. have to get us a ham. Well, I'm going to thank you for stopping and tasting the cake. Sure, it was delicious. All right. And thank y'all. All right, y'all. Great day over at Junior's. Had a blast. It's the day before Thanksgiving. We did over 60 hams. Did over 30 turkeys, y'all. People still coming in, picking up the turkeys, picking up the hams. Next year, you need to get you one from him. And I'm going to tell y'all what. Good eating. Very good eating. And thank y'all for watching Cajun Living and Cooking. All right, y'all. We just made some kettle corn. Really unique. Uh, neat recipe. Uh, it's one cup of sugar, one cup of oil, one cup of popcorn. So we doubled it up. And the way you do it is you put your oil in there and you let it come up to temperature. And we forgot our temperature gauge, but uh, it, you're supposed to be at about 300. And then you put your cup of sugar in there. And then when the sugar starts crystallizing, it's gonna turn white and crystallize a while. It's gonna be white. You're gonna be stirring it, stirring it, stirring. It's gonna turn white. Then all of a sudden it'll liquefy. Once it liquefies and starts turning brown, well, you're ready for the popcorn in. Then you come and dump your popcorn in, a cup of popcorn. Once you dump that in, take a few seconds, a few seconds, you'll see one pop in, another one will pop, then another one will pop, and then all of a sudden, pow, bam, boom, bam, boom, it's popping in. You got popcorn trying to get out the pot. And, and we eating some now. It's kettle corn. How is it? It's awesome. delicious. 
Yeah. It's good? I haven't even tried it yet. <laughs> it's got the sugar flavor. Yeah, yeah. Can you taste uh, the popcorn and the sugar flavor? It tastes like French toast. French toast. That's cattle corn, y'all. Caramel. I think it is. It's got that brown look to it. So, uh, And I think you can add different flavors, too. So next time we'll try it, we may put in uh, cinnamon or or um, some other flavor that we can come up with. But that's cattle corn, y'all. You've seen it right here. All right, y'all. There's a million ways to carve a turkey, just like there's a million ways to skin a cat, just like people say, the old cliche. But uh, we're going to carve our turkey. What I like to do first is take the legs off. Now our turkey, we put in uh, all this fryer today. So uh, really juicy. I don't know if you ever use all this fryer or not. All right, I like to get the legs off. Then we'll cut the, the thighs off. I'm gonna do that on both sides. Come in here and get that thigh to join in there. Might have to get the leg out the way. Pull the leg off. Gotta find that, that gristle joint in there for the thigh. Pull that out. That's the good dark meat. That's my favorite. How about you? You yeah. like the white or the dark? I like both of them. Do you? Yeah. I prefer the dark. Meat. Yeah, me too. I find it a little bit, little bit more juicy. All right. Cooked it so good, got the wings just flying off. That's good. That's that's the way we like it. Look at there. No knife required. Pull them right off the neck up there for decoration. Now, a lot of people do this a lot different, how they do it. I like to go in there and, and get that turkey out. Oh, yeah. I always pull this out. I don't think you want to eat that part. I don't know if that's white meat or dark meat, but don't eat it. Come in and get the, come in and get the breast out. And what I like to do with the breast is uh, slice it up where everybody can get some. You come across and make little cuts. I see the juice pouring out of this thing, Kermit. Oh yeah, it's good juice. The grandkids shot it up real fine. Oh yeah, what all did y'all put in it? Oh, just a little butter. Yeah. A little cones. Yeah. A little seasoning. I made up your own stuff. So that's better than store-bought if you ask me. You can wear some gloves or use some mitts, but when your turkey comes out, the whole key to that turkey is a 15 minute rest. And I'm gonna tell you what, that's the longest 15 minutes of your life waiting on that turkey to rest. With everybody in here is starving to death. And we're gonna get the uh, white meat all cut. Yeah, it's hot, it's still hot. But I tell you what, I can see the juice coming out of here. Look like you got it perfectly timed. The dark meat right there. Now the rest, it's almost just hand picking. So that's the main part I want to show y'all how to get the dark meat off, get your legs off, get the white meat cut, and the rest you're just gonna dig in and get this baby cut. So there's Rodney, turkey, uh, Rodney carving a turkey, 101.